And we're back with deck lists, so we can talk about this. So we're going to game three, you said? Yeah, this is game three of, of the same round. This is round six. This is between Rusty Weeks on Reanimator and Zach Allen on, on Band Stone Blade. So is this a winning in, or is this for CD? I don't exactly remember. Uh, I think this was actually pretty important. Um, if Rusty wins, it, it might be sense. important for Play the... It. Yeah, for for me having won my match. There may be some cascading effects. Yeah. Interesting note. Rusty does have the Archon of Cruelty, which has been making some waves in modern, which is very cool to see. And then if we look at the sideboard, we have Inkwell Leviathan, which is what I think I would be bringing in in this matchup. And not sure how much else I'm bringing in in this matchup because Zach is definitely not packing sideboard hate in that same fashion. Let me double check that, but I was pretty sure it was mostly relying on endurance. Yeah, endurance is such a haymaker in this matchup. I, I yep, there's no. Sure, I'm not well, sure we have dress downs, so I'm assuming the dress downs got brought in because oh my gosh, do you you want that against just some nonsense? <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's also Magus of the Moon. I mean, that could could cause some problems for Zach. I think generically I would not be bringing that in, but uh, knowing Zach's list, I think it's pretty good against it. But so, typical Bant lists are running a bit more basics. Thoughtseize here. We see two lands, a Stoneforge, Ponder, a Brainstorm. Is that a Brainstorm? In the yeah, it's a and Brainstorm. And then an Uro. So, so Ponder, Brainstorm, Uro, two lands. Yeah. Take the Stoneforge Mystic. Uh, I think I'm inclined to actually take the Ponder there. Yeah, I, I like one of the cantrips, although I, I imagine guess it depends at this on point, Rusty's what the seen threat is. The, the Cauldra plan, and maybe he, he has a slower hand. Yeah, if we have a turn two reanimate, I like taking the Ponder. If we have a turn three reanimate, I like taking the Stoneforge Mystic. Yeah. I just like forcing that if Zach is going to filter, he has to brainstorm as opposed to ponder, because this ponder can find an endurance now, mm -hmm. and we can pitch cast the endurance. Yeah. So which, we'll... my God, is an absurd thing that that card is so good in like the Delver matchup, and then also being good against Re. It's just some, it's some nonsense. So what do we got here? So Zach likes what he sees. It looked like it was. I thought I saw a Teferi, a Cantrip, and a Force. Or a land, a Cantrip, and a Force. So gonna Rusty and Tomb. During Zach's end step. And do we have... Did we grab the Force? Is that a Force in his hand? Yeah. Surprise, there's... Zach is not forcing the Tomb. Typically, I've been of the opinion that you're supposed to be interacting with the things that put the things in the graveyard, as opposed to things that you know, do the other thing. There's yeah. more reanimation spells than bin spells. That's been my experience, but Zach having endurance, I mean, that could could change that. So I could I could see where he would just mm -hmm. kind of maybe let it go, knowing that he's he's got endurance in his pocket. Yeah, so. Yeah, but we didn't shuffle off the the ponder so we know we're not drawing next turn as well so i'm a little right. cautious because if you get double spelled here it gets really bad for you Oof. okay so we have the veil oh that's the veil oh that's yeah pretty brutal. And, it, and it draws the fairy uh, i think we're clearing something up here i don't know what we're doing and then Rusty over in. We're gonna get, we're gonna get this force. I assume we're gonna yeah, be met with a force. Starting yeah, it's hard to not be able to cast spells anymore. Yeah. So he brought in the, the Magus. So it's not something I would do, but it definitely looks better here, so Yeah, I mean we'll that, accept that's, my rules. That's it would have been a lights out and now we've got to ferry his, his insurance there in case uh say something shows up. Yeah. We're going to take a look. Rossi's going to realize it can bounce his 
It's reanimated targets. Yeah, oh, and he's sitting with a reanimating hand. That's that's why he cares. Okay, so he could have presumably uh, used the maggot. You got the maggots back. Okay, and he'll still cast the reanimate. And, and try to yeah, this doesn't feel very good. Yeah, I, I mean, I see, I see why you do it here because if presumably Zach will bounce it and you just play it again, it's you know. Yeah, it's fine. So, and Zach gonna does, get two hits out of it. Does draw a basic island, which definitely makes this recast plan a little bit worse, but it's. So he's got Uro, basic island. I can't see quite. See but there's a the swords in there. Swords, okay. And the brainstorm from earlier. Oh no, that's a new brainstorm. Yeah, it's, well, and he finds the endurance. Okay. So he's got that in his back pocket, just in case. And he's got the Uro as a pitch card. Oh, and, okay. Stoneforge Mystic. That, that's what else is there. So he'll put back the wasteland and I, I presume a, a fetch or the island on top. Okay, the Stoneforge. Yeah, I don't think we need to. We need to go fast at this point. No. I'm actually kind of shocked that the Stoneforges are still hanging out in the deck. Yeah, I, I think Zach just feels like he needs a plan to end the game as quick as possible. Okay, grief. A pick in the Archon. So Zach's going to fetch away the stone fortune that we signed on top. Presumably yep. get a basic. He's going to get basic forest here. Presumably. Yep. Yeah. There's less than you cast the arrow and keep moving next turn. So Zach will shuffle. No oh, endurance yeah. here. Endurance. Sorry, Rusty. Not particularly relevant. And we pitch the arrow. The evoke triggers. Cast this. Yeah. And now we can really kind of. The endurance lets a to fairy. Really protects the fairy to, to be able yeah, to Yeah, it deals with this problem. Yeah, and then and then Zach can just recast the arrow. Oh, this is oh. Oh. This is really good. Because grief has oh Ooh. wow. I mean, grief has, has a lot of answers. Yeah, so Zach will get one activation to to bounce here. Uh, so he just has to bounce, will uh, presumably take care of it. Yeah, and he just yeah. cashes it in. Ca cash in the card. Now I expect a, an arrow. Yeah, and that's what we'll do. And at this point, it's going to be very hard for Rusty to get there unless he's able to get a Grizzle Brand into, pro into play. Yeah, that seems like. Uh, uh, we do not win. have any turns. We need an entomb into an exhum. Uh, we need a tomb into animate dead. And all we need at this point, the uh, next two draw steps have to be those. Uh, faithful saluting. Oh, faithful saluting also gets there. Yep. Yeah. 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 We have to find those two cards though. Yeah. Is the important detail. <laughs> We've had a very small amount of draws that can get done here for Rusty. And and I'll just scoop it up. He draws nothing. He does not draw one of them. Yeah. So Zach takes this round match against Rusty and Reanimator, and we'll be back soon with the top eight. Yeah. I think that's an expected course of action. Fancy against the Reanimators right now. Yeah. And uh, thanks for, for joining us, David, and uh, we'll see everyone else next round. Of course.